Hey everyone, this is I'm a Dr. Nada, and today is your tutorial for learning how to install mods for Oblivion Remastered if you're playing on Game Pass. Folks traditionally have a harder time installing mods for Game Pass games. We're going to make it super easy and install an ESP mod, the Auto Upgrade Leveled Items mod. First, we're going to do it using the Mod Manager Vortex, so quick and easy. Second, we're going to do it manually, so slow and deliberate. Like and subscribe, and let's go. For step one, we need to get Vortex all set up for your game. I'm assuming that you've already installed it, so launch it and go to your Games tab. Then search for Oblivion and make a game profile from it by selecting the Manage It button. If you're asked to create a new profile, we'll also ask to provide a manual folder location, you can use the path shown on the screen. And I'll wait here for a little bit just so you can pause if you need to. Now you can go to your mod page and click the Vortex button to download it and it will show up in the mod manager. For step three, your mod is probably ready, so you should be able to launch your game. But if you do have problems like a crash to desktop, you can use the fix that I covered in my recent video. So specifically, go to the load order tab and then click reset plugins as shown. That is the quick and easy way to install mods, like leaving a comment on what tutorial you'd like me to make next. Sometimes, though, you also want to install mods manually. Fortunately, this is also straightforward and takes just a little bit of time. For step one, download your mod and extract the files, going into the directory. Then select your ESP file and copy it. For step two, go to the folder where we need to put our ESP files, which is shown on the screen. I'll give you all a few moments here so you have enough time to get to the right place. It's also listed in the video description. So, once you're there, paste in your ESP file. For step three, we're going to edit the plugins.txt file in the same folder. Open it up and then place the file name of your mod at the bottom of the list with the ESP file ending. But naturally, of course, read the mod author recommendations because sometimes you do want to order mods in a particular way. Step four is optional, but it might be useful if things aren't working. Some people have reported that making the plugins file read only can fix some bugs. To do this, right click on your plugins.txt file, go to properties, and then click the checkbox that says read only, and then click apply and okay. Modding is a fun and a great way to enrich your game. I haven't personally ever played a Bethesda game all the way through without modding it. Ultimately, we're all free to have the game experience that we want and leaves us feeling most satisfied. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. It helps my content a lot. And if you're feeling generous, join my Patreon because it helps motivate me to release content a little bit more quickly. Thanks for watching and Starship out. You would quest for the holy panoply of Helenel White Strike, the legendary relics that have been sought by mighty warriors throughout the ages? Are you a worthy knight? That is usually best left to the gods to judge.